Hi folks. Uh, I've recently done the video about um, when your character is tested, what will it show? Okay, put it this way. When talking about um, what that issue was about with this woman, um, the George Michael song outside and the video to it and her disgust at the fact that um, as she saw it the video was celebrating men having sex outside that was it was shouting about it celebrating it blah 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 blah, blah. right okay that, that was the point of it yeah that, that's what she saw the point of the video and the song really um And she basically had the opinion that anyone who enjoyed that song was of the devil. Right? The fact the fact that I had said that I had danced to that song, that therefore everything that I've said before then, since then, was therefore of the devil. And the fact that I danced that song was proof that everything I've said was therefore of the devil. <laughs> how, how should she have responded to that? See, this is, yeah. Okay, let, let, let's say for a second you are offended by the video. Which is like, yeah, I mean, personally, am I offended by the video? No, I've seen a damn sight worse. I say, go back and look at the video of Relax. Yeah, that song. Oh my God, that is offensive. That's seriously offensive. Especially, I was about um, 12 at the time. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, that was, that was, yeah. That was worse than outside. Yeah far worse so yeah that doesn't offend me i'm a grown-up yeah i know that um things happen in the world i i've heard of something called dogging so if i've heard of dogging i've not participated in it but i've heard of it i know that people some people do enjoy sex outside i know that of young people you know um sometimes it is a fantasy to have sex on a beach or you know in a field or wherever they can basically there's a risk factor to it and they love the risk factor um right okay for me as i've said before not not of interest to me because i like a bit of comfort so <laughs> yeah it makes sense you know if i'm going to participate in that then it needs to be somewhere warm because the whole yeah if you're going to do that you're going to strip naked Therefore, better to be somewhere warm than, yeah, not. <laughs> that makes sense to me. And, yeah, on a surface that is comfortable. So a bed is much more preferred than a field or a beach. Yeah. I mean, anybody who's ever knelt on sand is not comfortable. Is it really? No. No, it's quite sharp sand. Yeah, not good. Not to have your whole body weight. No. And in certain sexual positions, it's, yeah, be her body weight and mine pushing down on me and my back pushing into the sand. No, thank you. No. No, I, I no, none, none of that. Or on a, because generally speaking, you, you uh, certainly at night time, um, any time other than summer, or any time when it's dark enough that people won't be able to see you that clearly, um, quite likely you're going to lay in dog shit. Great! No, that's romantic, isn't it? Or cow poo. One or the other, dog poo or cow poo. Great! Wonderful! Yeah! Go for it! You know, I mean, even the whole idea of having sex in the toilet area, they're not exactly clean, are they, really? So, they don't smell clean. So, 
yeah that's not exactly much of a turn on having that smell through your nose you might need a, a few jars of Vicks you know to squirt up your nose to get rid of that first you know so yeah really as I said I don't think really that people were celebrating that not in any way shape or form So, you know, if you're disturbed by that, then you should speak to the one person who really knows George Michael or knew him and really understood his decision making as to why he did that. Well, first of all, understand it from the point that um, if he's going to do a video, there's probably about at least 20 to 30 to 40 people who are going to have an input as to what that video should look like. Partly based upon the song, but partly also based upon, you know, what the person wants to say. And if you want to focus on the fact that the person wanted to say that they just want to have sex outside, I don't think so. I don't think that's likely. Um, so what other message would you want? To, would you wanted to say? Well, as I say, you've got to have an understanding, therefore. And you've got to speak to the person who would know, which is God. If you really want to know that should you be offended by that, and should you therefore label anyone who enjoys that song as being of the devil, ask the person who knew George Michael, who knew his decision making and why he decided to write the song in that way and what he was trying to do what was happening in his life that he was trying to respond to with that song yet was that the case what was he trying to respond to what was going on in, in his life now i think the answer is yes certainly based upon the fact that there was a lot going on in his life at that point in time um his sexuality had just come out yeah because of the things he was doing at the time you know being incredibly reckless and trying to meet someone for sex in a public toilet a man it then became pretty evident to people that this man wasn't straight he was actually gay not only gay but um you know doing something that most people frown about so of course the papers loved it the media loved it and the people that actually built him up what they like to do when they build, build people up? They like to tear them down. And they tried to tear him down, didn't they? From the massive height that really they put him up on this pedestal. He didn't do that. They did. The media. the um, Certainly music media. We've got to remember to a lot of people in the media. Certainly the music media. They didn't like him because of what he'd been trying to do with Sony anyway. Because he'd been trying to take Sony on. Sony's a big player. And I imagine that an awful lot of those media um, people who deal with music, that they would have had a nice sweet deal with Sony. So, yeah. Yeah. They now had a chance to attack the one who'd been attacking Sony. Yeah, to try and say to Daddy Sony, Look, Daddy, we did good. Can we have some more of your big money, please? Would that have happened? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that's an absolute certainty. With the media and with, yeah, with the way that um, everything works in that, yeah, of course, there, there have been people looking to attack him to see how they could benefit from their relationship therefore with Sony or maybe start a relationship with Sony because they've hurt the one that was trying to hurt Sony. Yeah, would that have happened? Yeah. So he went, he was coming through a lot of that stuff. So yeah, for all those years, I mean, as, as I did a clip from in the one talking about I won't judge him, he was talking about the fact that I'm not sure if that clip is on there, but I think it was a bit earlier, that when he found out that the man he loved, 
might have AIDS, he went to spend time with his family. And that was awful because he couldn't tell his family that he was gay. He couldn't tell his family that he was in love with this man. And he was having to carry all of this on his own. And so when he was grieving, he couldn't go and tell his family. And we're going to judge him? Oh, I'm getting that again. Very, very close to saying those two words again. <laughs> Father, yeah, I need help here. Very, very close to saying those two words, F and then, you know, you. Yeah. I said, How dare you think you can judge him? Yeah, you know, have you been through even half of what he's been through or what he went through? No, so you know, come on. When your character is tested, this is what you show. You show that you're gonna judge this man who went through horrendous bloody stuff. And you think you're in a position to judge him? Oof. No, that's the point. Yeah, what, what should the correct response have been? As I say, you go to Father, you ask Father about all of that. Yeah, should I be offended by that? And Father would say to you really quickly, no. I mean, should you be offended by a video? No. Why are you going to allow yourself to react in a way that is generally speaking going to be unpleasant because when we get when we get offended the way we act the way that we react is unpleasant that's why you know as i said earlier the two videos i did about responding to her last comments yeah her last comments really offended me yeah and when i think about what she said it really offends me you know i get so offended at the fact that yeah and so, yeah, I deleted those because although it's understandable for me to feel offended by that, and although it's understandable for me to be angry about that, I've got to deal with that between me and God. I shouldn't be putting that out. That's not what character should be showing, is it? Yeah, that's not what we that's not what we should be hoping for at least or aiming for. Yeah. Yeah. And as I say, yeah, to to focus on one thing, to focus on one song. If I thought a song was inappropriate for people to be dancing to or stuff like that. Will I comment? Maybe, maybe I would comment. Um, but if I'd comment, I'd just say, yeah, I'd speak to God about that particular song if I was you. As whether that's a song you should be um, dancing to. Well, you should be promoting as a song you dance to. That would be something I would say. I'd speak to God about it. Because really, the only person who can judge you for doing that, the only person who can judge George Michael or judge what the video or the song was about it's God so in all things you point to him take everything as an opportunity to point to father because that's the point you want people to go to father because who's the one who knows exactly how to correct somebody if somebody's going wrong who's the one who knows how to correct them that'd be father it won't be me I can't do that Yeah, I'm not the one who's able to correct them, and yeah, you know, it's it's also as I've said before, and this is definitely something that that irked me as a young Christian, the way that people say, "Oh, as a Christian, you can't do this. As a Christian, you can't do, or you can't smoke, you can't drink alcohol, or you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that." And it's like, well, no, you can. Are those things good for you? Not necessarily. But you can do them. 
And the reality is that when it comes down to it, yeah, if God hasn't told you to stop dealing with that, then who am I to tell you you have to stop? If God has told you to stop, well then, okay. You know, it really is up to him to help you. If he's sending me to help you, I'll help you. But judging you is not going to help you. Telling you, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. I think, generally speaking, in most cases, well, no, okay, that isn't quite true. In some cases, <laughs> people already know that they shouldn't be doing stuff that they're doing. They don't need anyone to say you shouldn't be doing it. What they need is for people to say, if you don't want to do that, can I help you to find another way? Or can I help you to find a way to stop behaving in that manner? Because if I can, then I should. That's what they need. They need people to say, can I be a solution for you? Can I Or can I help you to find the solution to your problem? Rather than, can I be and have a problem for you? <laughs> yeah, that's not helpful, is it, really? But that's the point. In the end, when it comes down to it, do we want to be... Do we want to be a problem? Or do we want to be someone who can help people to find the solution? Yeah, that, that's the thing about character. And that's the thing about really what, what we should want our character to show, isn't it, really? Yeah? Well, to me, that makes sense. I mean, have I been that all the time? No. And that's why I was to say, um, can I judge this lady? No, I'm not, I'm not trying to judge her. Not at all. But as I say, that's why, you know, when, when I did those things as a response to her comment um, I deleted them because although it's understandable it doesn't mean it's right and it doesn't mean that as I say it doesn't mean that that's what I should be pushing out there not just against her but against God as well really as I say her latest comment that coming from a Christian is really bad and put it this way for anyone who listened to that who would listen to that video they would see that I said I danced to that song on that day I never said I danced that song every day I never said I danced every day I just said I danced that song on that day that's not what her comment said her comments accused me of saying I danced that song all the time that isn't what I said. Um, but I say, then to go and say, you can't say the church is demonic if you enjoy that song. Huh? Yeah, I would understand it. If she had said, you can't say the church is demonic because it isn't, and here's why it isn't. Okay. I can respect that. <laughs> yeah. I can. But, yeah. Yeah. But, as I say, you know, during my time, 27 years, could I have said something like that in that way? Yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, that is certainly within the realm of possibilities. And so, yeah. Yeah. I hope that through this if I could choose what, what would happen now to that young lady I would choose that God would break her <coughs> no not break her to harm her break her to deal with all the things that need to be dealt with and to make her stronger And then, you know, help her to receive what he's doing now. 
and bring her into that bring her into that understanding so she can walk in that yeah that's what matters in the end that is it really yeah it's not about trying to judge people or condemn them because of where they are right now because where they are right now is not where you want them to finish and if you want them to receive what God is doing now it's no good judging them on it not in any way shape or form it really isn't you know so yeah well you're not exactly going to bring them in by judging them or condemning them and saying right that's it I never want to speak to you ever again you know because you close the door but all of those things you close the door and yeah you've always got to leave the door open even if you really don't want the person to come through whose decision is it that that person comes through or who comes to you for help it ain't yours it's God's so if anyone's going to close the door it has to be him And if we say things that will close the door, go back and try and reopen it. So not because you necessarily want that person to come through, but because it's not your job to close the door. So there you go. I will leave you to it now. You take care. God bless. I hope in some way this helps. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye-bye.